Hi, I'm Venus O'Hara and welcome to another picture. Another picture? What am I saying? Another video. I'm going to talk about pictures though. This video I'm going to talk about cyber flashing. Cyber flashing needs to stop. What is cyber flashing? Well, it's sending dick pics. And I think many people have been the victim or the recipients of this phenomenon. And it's something that's existed since the internet became very popular or, or taking digital photos became a thing or became very easy. And um, it's something I've never really understood, to be honest. And I do get my fair share of dick pics that I did not ask for. And um, sometimes in, in Instagram, in those, um, what they called, that there's a folder for people trying to DM you that you don't even know. And when I see this blurred picture, I'm like, I'm not even going to open that. I'm not interested. But I don't understand why people would even attempt to send me pictures of their mm, when I didn't ask for them. I think maybe some people just think, oh, she speaks about sex. This is what she wants to see. But that's not true. I think, um, you know, this um, this idea of uh, sharing your intimate, your genitals with people should be, you know, only in consensual situations. I was inspired to make this video because last week, I think it was last week or a few days ago, I saw an interview on the British TV show this morning about a woman who wants to make cyber flashing, as it's called, a criminal offence. And this is also initiated by Bumble, which is the um, a dating app where women make the first move. And I thought it was such an interesting concept. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if people were just more accountable online in general, not just with dick pics, but in general with trolling, etc. And I wonder if people would think twice before sending this type of image if it's consensual and you're sexting, then that's a totally different scenario because in some cases it might be desired. You might want to see what someone's genitals are like before you actually get intimate with them in person. But sometimes it's very invasive. Someone's just saying, boom, here's my, here's my junk, check it out. And it's just, <gasps> it can be very, 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 uh, very intrusive. And, I, and I've just found it I mean, I, I probably get this type of content sent to me maybe on a weekly basis. So now I'm just kind of like trying not to open that kind of stuff. And also, I mean, I've made a few videos about penis size and I've been I've made them with um, very good intentions to kind of put men at ease about this, this big question that everyone has. And then I get guys saying, well, mine's really big. I'm not boasting. Can I send you a picture? And I'm like, no. At least they ask, but still, I'm just not interested. I'm not interested in that at all. I, I mean, I, I mean, and also another thing about these pics, dick pics, is that people share them, or that they share them and they show them to other people. So I think um, we should think twice before sending this type of material, even if it's a, a, in a con consensual um, scenario, because you never know, you might break up with that person, you might end badly, and then you got, hey, look, this is what his his dick is like. You know, wh why would you do that? Yeah, it's just too much, um, too much risk. I mean, for me, years ago, when I was kind of more into kind of maybe flirting with WhatsApp or, or email, and I had a guy asking me for some kind of intimate picture, I always said no. I said, oh, you, you can check out my pictures on my website, because I have been I've done lots of erotic photos in the past, but never explicit. And I wouldn't want someone to have in their phone something more explicit of me than what I'm prepared to show on my own website, if you see what I mean. And and also in this interview, they were talking about um, being, let's say, in a public space or on public transport. And you get some random strangers invading your Bluetooth or airdrop and trying to send you dick pics. And I just thought, wow, that's never happened to me, but I, I can imagine that must feel very, very, very threatening almost. Because you think if someone's doing this in a virtual sense, what would they, what are they capable of physically? They might be, might not be capable of anything, but you just don't know. And it just puts you in that <gasps> kind of situation of um, just feeling threatened in a way. And I just think it's so not cool. So why send these pictures? I just think that if it was a, a criminal offence, I wonder and I hope um, that people would be a bit more accountable. I do think there needs to be massive changes in in, law, in the law about accountability online in general for everything, for, for trolling, for stalking, and, um, and, and also for, for dick pics. I just couldn't imagine just taking pictures of my genitalia and going, boom, send, send, send. I just think that's, that's kind of sad and desperate, really. That's what I think anyway. So, what do you think? Do you think that dick pics or cyber flashing, as it's known, 
should be a criminal offence. Would that change anything? And someone actually in Spain actually wrote to me, I, I shared this video from the British TV on my Twitter, and someone asked me, what's cyber flashing? Is it a new type of fraud? And I just thought, well, that's kind of interesting. It does sound like, if you don't know the word flashing, then it does sound like uh, it could be some kind of fraud. But yeah. Anyway, I'd love to hear your comments or, or opinions on this topic. And there you have my, my ideas. And let's hope that this does become a criminal offence and that more people report it and that less people send these pictures. If you have any suggestions for new videos, don't hesitate to contact me at venus at venusohara.org and I will see you very soon. Mwah.